Our National Investigative Unit is getting answers to your coronavirus questions, and you wanted to know why some Americans are still being blocked from coming home from overseas, including workers on cruise ships. Chief National Investiga Investigative Correspondent Mark Albert has the answer for you. What's it like being stuck at sea? Kind of a comfortable jail. I have good days and I have bad days. It's really um, indescribable. Forgotten. Feels like we're stuck in limbo. These five Americans are working on cruises that seemingly will not end. They're performers, technicians, and more, all prevented from coming home. Feels like we're the ugly stepchild, you know, that's being rejected kind of by everyone right now. The Coast Guard says it helped 265,000 passengers disembark in early March, but workers on the ships were ordered by the CDC to stay on board. Seven weeks later, far beyond any 14-day quarantine, most are still isolated to their rooms, allowed out only for twice-a-day temperature checks and three daily meals, eaten six feet apart from each other. The rest of the time you are sort of on your own. This CDC no-sale order prevents cruise lines from disembarking crew unless executives promise, under threat of civil and criminal penalties, to a list of conditions, including no public transportation. Royal Caribbean provided us this letter its CEO sent to captive workers Sunday, saying despite potential legal penalties, quote, we have decided that the importance of getting you home is so great that we will sign these documents. Princess sent us an out-of-date statement. Carnival told us it hopes to get its 26,000 worldwide crew members home within a few weeks. I'm seeing people protesting the streets that their freedoms are being taken away because they're being asked to stay at home. I can't even get home. In our interviews over sometimes spotty onboard Wi-Fi connections, all five workers praised their individual cruise lines, but had harsh words for government agencies. What is the point of having citizenship if they're going to deny us entry back? We are still out here and that we feel forgotten about. My family wants me home and I want to be there with them. And now Congress is investigating. Top leaders of both parties on the House Transportation Committee sent Carnival Cruise Lines this letter, accusing it of ignoring the public health threat posed by coronavirus to potential future passengers and crew and demanding documents. The deadline is next Friday. Carnival says it will, quote, protect the health and safety of our guests, crew, and communities we serve. In Washington, I'm Chief National Investigative Correspondent Mark Albert. Coming up on our News at 5, we spoke to the sister of one of the cruise ship workers. Find out how they're finding ways to stay connected.